Welcome to the latest episode of Branding the Experience, where we discuss ways how we can create environments where employees actually want to come to work and customers want to keep coming back. I am Ken Bader, your host for Branding the Experience. I'm also your organizational culture and world-class service standards expert here with our latest episode, Remarkable Customer Service with Henry Lopez. Now, I had the distinct pleasure of interviewing Henry Lopez from the How uh, of Business podcast, uh, also the How of Car Washing uh, podcast. He's a serial entrepreneur, has run and started many retail businesses and, and other organizations. And we talked about on Cool Culture Corner how important culture is to the retail business and providing. Uh, a great customer experience. And since this is branding the experience, I wanted to take a few excerpts from that interview that truly apply to the idea of branding the experience. Let's listen. We call it trying to deliver remarkable customer service, which is influenced by Seth Godin and Purple Cow, mm -hmm. right? And what we found, and the reason I mentioned customer service is you can't deliver remarkable customer service without having first built a culture. So the way we approach it in these environments where we have high turnover is that at the top, it starts with us. Mm -hmm. We as owners have to completely believe and buy into the investment that's required to build a culture and then to deliver things like remarkable customer service. Mm -hmm. If we don't believe it, if we don't really believe it, in other words, if the way we manage our business is we throw up the employee of the month plaque like you'll see at some fast food places, <laughs> and I call it lipstick on a pig, right? Because that's all it is. Nobody exactly. really cares. At the end of the day, they're just focused on the bottom line numbers and, uh, and on reducing costs and on cutting corners. If you as an owner don't really believe in the value of building a culture, which will then manifest itself into all of those other things like great customer service, forget about it. You're wasting your time. You, you might as well put it away, right? Don't pretend. And we see that so much. And we know, right, as customers, as consumers, we typically read through that pretty quickly when it's not yep. real. Because what happens is where it manifests itself the most is how we really treat our employees, right? Mm -hmm. Not just in how we pay them, but in how we take care of them or the lack thereof. Right. Yeah? So to begin to answer your question, it starts at the top with David and I. We believe in that. And the reason we believe in it, and trust me, we have a lot of these conversations in our industry in specific. Mm -hmm. There are lots of car wash operators that don't pay attention to this and they're doing fine, right? So it's, it's a struggle sometimes to say, well, what the heck are we doing beating ourselves up for this? Here's the answer. It's because when we have a business, it represents us. Mm -hmm. And we want to be proud of the businesses that we build and operate. We want what we get, which is when people go to our businesses and then they comment to us later, family members, friends, and say, wow, that was great. God, your business was fantastic. That was good, such a good experience. That makes us proud. That's right. what drives us. We do it because it's the right thing to do and it's how we want to run our businesses. Now, the next level is that we have a manager in place that we pay a very good salary and we take care of mm -hmm. and we hope to get some longevity out of that role. Mm -hmm. So it starts there. We find the right kind of person that fits into that. We hire mostly on personality more so than on mm -hmm. skill set because no, no big news here, right? I can teach them a lot of about how to run a car wash. Mm -hmm. I can't teach them personality and how they lead people. Those things, they kind of have to come with me with at least some basic skills, right? Yeah. So we make sure that we hire at the high level the right person that's properly compensated and motivated and that buys in to what we're trying to achieve. In the car wash industry, it's a little challenging because mm -hmm. it's a very mechanical and operation intensive business. So it's very easy for our leaders, our manager, to get busy in the tunnel fixing something. Mm -hmm. Instead of yeah. understanding that while that's important, that can be delegated, they need to be customer facing. And it's a hard thing to hire for because they, they do need to have some technical, mechanical wherewithal. Sure. But they need to understand their number one job is taking care of that customer who's not happy with the wash that he or she just got or had an issue or whatever, or 
making sure that we're putting the right face forward like you're experiencing at the wash that you go to. Right. So that's the next level. It starts with us. Then you got to hire the right management that buys in, that, that you hired for the right reasons and that you're taking care of. So that's where it starts. No, great answer. A couple of, I, I agree 100% with everything that you said, but a couple of really key points is you know, I truly, truly believe this. And I say it, it to every client, to every seminar that, that I have the privilege of speaking to, that well, especially when I talk about the branding, the experience concept, I start off with, because everybody's thinking about customer or member or client facing, is that it's very, very difficult, almost impossible to brand an experience for those you serve without branding an experience first for your employees. It's very, mm, very difficult. And that's what you're doing in terms of filtering down that mindset um, through the entire org chart. Do you have one crazy story, one funny story, maybe from, you know, it doesn't even have to be the car wash, maybe from a business years ago or one you just started. Yeah, I always love because I've got mine and our audience has, has heard all of mine. Do you have like one funny, crazy story of what might have happened at one of your businesses? Well, you know, it's, it's, there's a couple of incidents that come to mind. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> And for those, uh, those who might be listening in the Colorado Springs area, you have some people uh, who live up in the mountains that want to be kind of off the grid. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're curious people. And so every once in a while, they'll come down from the mountains and go shopping and they'll come to I Top It, which is our yogurt shop. Mm -hmm. And we had a lady who comes in, you know, frequently when she comes down to do her shopping and she always gets the particular flavor of the to-go yogurt and we didn't have it that day mm. and she just lost it I mean lost it like you would have thought we had you know taken away her provisions for the winter kind of thing right you may and have just, <laughs> you may, we may have exactly <laughs> And so it just, it, it really threw our manager. She didn't know how to respond. This person who had been a regular customer all of a sudden was an irate customer making a scene in the shop, making everybody uncomfortable. There were other customers in the dining room and we didn't quite know how to handle it. She finally just calmed down by herself and walked out. But it, it's just amazing how sometimes our customers just get twisted with you know their expectations it happens at the car wash too where somebody will run their car through and of course the big thing is that we damage their car but that aside sure. it didn't quite get it clean and I think what you come to learn especially when you're customer facing is that sometimes people are having a bad day and you are who they take it out on right yeah. um, so but there's lots of crazy stories like that when you're dealing with the public but you know generally it's all good yeah, yeah, I could I could identify with that. And every once in a while, you know, I'm that consumer that's having a bad day. <laughs> yeah. And you know what, I, I try not to do that because, you know, given working with a lot of service based businesses and my background is all in service based businesses yep. basically. So I, I've been, you know, in my early days on the receiving end of that. So you know, there's yep. been there's on the other side of it. Yeah, there's actually been a few times where, you know, I've kind of gone back to a place and I've said, hey, you know what? I, you know, yeah, there was a mistake, but, you know, I overreacted. I'm really sorry. Yeah. You know, here's. I've, I've if, done that as well. Yeah. Especially if it's a tipping type of environment. You know, hey, you know what? Thanks for putting up with me. So fortunately, That's as right. I get older, I do less of that. Um, not the tipping part, but the, <laughs> but the end part. <laughs> Now, what can we learn from that? The number one thing that I believe we could all learn is how much brand and culture are intertwined. Obviously, as the author of the B plus C plus S formula, I believe brand, culture, and strategy are completely intertwined. Uh, but specifically on brand and culture, as I discussed with Henry, it's almost impossible not impossible, I've seen it happen, but at a great, great cost, it's almost impossible to brand an experience for those you serve, whether it be clients, customers, or members, without branding an experience for your employees first. 
I truly believe that if we do that, it's going to make the customer experience just a little bit easier to deliver. Hope you enjoy that interview and thank you for spending some time with me today. And as always, here's hoping that you're branding the experience, not only for your customers, but also your employees at a very high level. Take care. Now a word from our sponsor, Beta Training and Consulting. BTC is the creator of the B plus C plus S formula. Our clients that implement that formula increase their net income by 124% and grow their business by 17% on average. The best place to start working with Beta Training and Consulting is with our B plus C plus S audit. The service pinpoints issues as well as attributes of your business's unique brand, culture, and strategy. Learn more or sign up for a B plus C plus S audit at www.btcinc.net backslash bcs audit.